when you're creating an actual letter, you have to work with a lot of rules in terms of spacing and indent of different options, etc. And so what we want to do is make sure that you understand how to use tab stops. So right now I've just designed this letterhead and pretend that the address and phone number line were there and, and fully designed. And when I hit enter or return, it's going to automatically center it because I was on the address and phone number line which was centered. So I need to reset this by choosing left alignment and then change it back to whatever font it needs to be for the letter. I'm going to turn on my invisible or non-printing characters so that I can see each time I hit enter or return. So you want to have an enter or return here so that it gives some space between the date and our address and phone number line. Now instead of hitting tab multiple times to get it across the page, what we want to do is we want to create a tab stop. So I can click on four inches in on the ruler and it's going to create this little L shape which means a tab stop. So if I hit tab now, it's going to jump all the way to that particular tab stop. So I can type today's date. So today is June 28th, 2017. And then I can hit enter return and I can hit once or two, twice more and then start adding the person's address. So the person's name, their address and their city, state, zip. Okay. So as I start typing my letter, let's say I type a paragraph and then another paragraph. When I go to create my salutation, I want it to indent at the same spot. Notice that after I type that first line, that tab stop still appears. If I click up here, you don't see that tab stop because it's not active. So if I were to hit tab here, it's not going to go all the way over to four inches. So now that we're down here, we do want them to be aligned. And since that tab stop is in place ever since we did that date, if I hit tab, I should be able to type sincerely and put three spaces and then the person's name, the writer's name and their title. Now this doesn't constitute an actual finished letter. We would need to highlight this and we would need to change the line spacing to single and we'd need to change the remove space after paragraph and we'd actually need to write our letter in here. But as we look at this now, now we have the date, the salutation, the writer's name and their title all lined up at four inches in or whatever the particular, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly how far you need to go in. But that's an easy way to create a tab stop by just clicking on the ruler. The thing you have to be careful about though is what if you accidentally just start clicking and you add all these different tab stops. If you do that, you can click on one you've created, drag it off, and it will disappear. So I can click to drag all of those miscreated tab stops off for that particular line. If I add a bunch here and then I click on sincerely, see how they don't show up? So be careful because wherever you were is where it's going to add those tab stops and every other subsequent line after that will have all those miscreated tab stops. So sometimes you have to go through line by line and fix it line by line if it's kind of different every other place. So that's a good way to investigate and see what's happening when your stuff is intenting and being crazy all over the place.